Hello everyone, I'm Nadim, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to how to move an object randomly. Okay, so I have this basic scene over here. You see, now I'm gonna add a cube as our character. We'll name it character. And now let's add nav mesh agent. Make sure it's above the ground. Okay, let's, let's put the height on to this one. Okay, now let's make it move. Uh, move randomly. Okay. Okay, so now we need five things. Public load. Timer, new target, and speed, nav mesh agent, nav, and public, turn vector 3, target. Okay. Let's put this up over here. And first we have to assign the nav mesh agent. So nav equals game object dot get component nav mesh agent. And then we go to the update function. We say timer plus equals time dot dot wait time of delta time and if timer more or wait timer more or equals then um, new target then we search for new target This is supposed to be a function, so and we set timer to zero. Now let's make the new target function. So void no target. Okay. So first we need to get our x and z position. So we say float my x equals game object dot transform dot position dot x and float my z equals game object dot transform dot, pos dot position dot z okay now we need a new x and a new z so we do this float x plus equals position equals my x plus random dot range and then we say my x minus hundred and my x plus hundred so it will be a reasonable target reasonable distance and we do the same with the z so float z plus position equals my z plus random dot range and we do the same my z minus 100 my z plus 100 okay so now we're going to make the new target so Victor three. Oh no. Target equals new Victor three. And then we say X pause position. Then we we don't we don't change the Y. But Y. And then Z position. 
okay so how so now we have our target ready now we we just have to assign it so now that set destination and we say we put target okay so I think we are ready to test this out okay so we see so we are back here in the scene um, speed equals 5 new target um, 5 seconds each 5 seconds the, the cube will go to a different target so we have to make sure first that our scene is baked so the player can navigate so we, cho so we choose the ground the cube ground and we hit bake so it's ready now and let's test it out it will wait five seconds then it will go see each five seconds it will change position let's test it uh, let's see it's from the scene view and say we want to ch we want it to change e every um, two seconds okay so two seconds it changes changes position each two seconds it changes position Four seconds. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.